All right, guys, so today we're going to show off the first product for the channel. So you'll notice we're here at the Studebaker, um, and I'm going to uh, show you these really neat coil adapters that I designed and 3D printed. So you'll notice one of them's missing. That's because I'm going to show you how uh, it all works. Okay, so who's this product for? This product is for the guys with an O2 to O5 Atlas engine. That could be a four, five, or six cylinder engine. You will know it is the right engine because it has the composite valve cover or cam cover, whichever way you swing there, and um, the teardrop sh shaped uh, coils. So this is what the factory coil looks like. You'll notice the exposed heat sink. And these don't put out the best spark energy. As a lot of people know, the later coils, which look like this guy, they put out a lot more energy. And internally, they are apparently identical to an LS coil. So this is the coil that you want. Um, it puts out more spark energy, and more spark energy is definitely not a bad thing. So we tested this car with the stock um, O2 to O5 coils at around 14 PSI boost. It just wouldn't take any more. It, it just, it was blowing the spark out, having an ignition break up, and it isn't gonna work. If you wanna run more than 14 pounds of boost, you need these coils. Not saying it doesn't have benefits for lower uh, power outputs. I definitely think it does. You know, anytime you can get a more complete burn, it's going to have benefits. But now that we've established the benefits, um, now I'm going to show you how it all works. So this is your O2 to O5 coil. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove it and make sure you keep the gasket because that. That's part of how you install the new uh, coil. So what I made was these really neat 3D printed coil adapters. So rather than just sticking the coil down into the hole and having this exposed area where dirt and grime can get in there and um, cause all sorts of issues, I 3D printed these nice little coil adapters. All right, so your first step is to Go to the junkyard and grab yourself some 06 plus coils. They look like this. Notice the non-exposed heat sinks. Look for the engines that have the aluminum valve covers. You can grab as many as you need. You know, it's four or five or six. They're all the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your 06 and later coil and you're going to take the coil adapter and you're going to insert the coil into the coil adapter. You just push it down like this. Just like that. Inserts in. No problem. And then you're going to want to take your gasket right here that you saved from your O2 to O5 coil and then you're going to insert that around the coil like this. This makes it so that dirt and debris can't get past this gasket and down into your um, spark plug area. So next part is you want to take your standoff which comes in the kit and I recommend that you put some Loctite on this guy because you don't want it coming out and you don't want it to be annoying you know when you're checking your spark plugs to uh, have this thing back out and then you have to you know reset it and cause all kinds of annoyance so I recommend you put Loctite on this thread right here and then you screw that down into the engine and you torque it to 106 pound inches just like that Alright, so now that you have your standoff installed, you can install your coil. Now you'll notice that the coil adapter has changed to a red color. 
I should mention that we offer these in red, white, and blue. I'm only doing that for the six cylinders because if you do it on a four and five cylinder, then you know you can't get the full array of you know even reds, even whites, even blues. So now you're just going to install this. You want to make sure you get it good and lined up on your spark plug, and then you just drop it in like that, and there it is. Then you're going to take your bolt and put it down into the hole and then tighten that guy up don't put loctite on this bolt you will cause yourself headache later and just like that away you go and the plug here on the stock harness plugs and plays Obviously, I'm running an aftermarket ECU, but it doesn't matter. It plugs right in. No difference between the years on the pinout or the plug. So you can literally just plug it right in, and then you're all set. So, yeah, as I mentioned, we sell kits in black if you want the more OEM look, or if you want to get a little more flashy and show you off your uh, patriotism, you can do red, white, and blue. And, uh, but we only do that for the six-cylinder kits. So I guess one other thing I should mention is if you want a four-cylinder kit, they are $80 shipped to the lower 48. Five-cylinder kits are $90 shipped to the lower 48. And the um, six-cylinder kits are 100 bucks shipped to the lower 48. It comes with four, five, or six of your coil adapters, obviously. And then it comes with uh, four, five, or six of your standoffs oh and then yeah if you want a red white and blue kit that's a hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy six cents <laughs> um, decided to be a little funny there with the price but uh, this is def definitely a no-brainer upgrade if you're going to be pushing the envelope on one of these engines and I think the O2 to O5 engines definitely um, get a little bit of a bad rap they're you know they're very capable engines but everybody seems fixated on the later ones but if you're going to be pushing the envelope or you're just driving a car around town and you want to have a more complete burn this is a no-brainer so with that i'm going to end the video off and uh make sure you like and subscribe and uh, i'll post the link to where you can buy these down in the uh, description and go check it out and uh, if you like what you see feel free to buy them. Um, the quantity right now is a little bit limited, but I'm going to get uh, as much inventory as uh, demand uh, requires in stock. Um, you know, if we start selling these things like crazy, obviously I'm going to have to <laughs> step up my game a little bit. So with that, we'll catch you in the next one.